Congressman Sinicola says it just doesn't add up. Based on his investigation and review, which included testimony from confidential industry insiders, he was able to verify the total landed costs for the private sector, including shipping, fees, taxes, and delivery to local pumps, comes out to about $3.56 before profit. What is it going to be sold at? $5.79.80. A difference of $2.24 per gallon. The profit that the gas stations are making from landed cost to retail cost outside the base is $2.24 per gallon. That's a lot. That's a profit margin of 62.9%, about 63% profit margin. He says the average profit margin nationally is 20%. Separately, the Congressional Research Office confirmed for him that the 17 cent per gallon federal excise tax on fuel, it doesn't apply here. Now step back and think about it for a minute. If the national average on retail gas prices is a margin of 20 or 30 percent, and if our margins here are 62.9 percent, and we don't pay that federal excise tax, then where is that federal excise tax savings? We're not even realizing that. And to further make his case, Nicholas also did a comparison with local military gas prices, which are much cheaper. He says, contrary to popular belief, DOD pays the same costs as the private sector. They bring the fuel the exact same way, through the exact same channels and the exact same cost centers as all of our gas stations do outside the base. As of April 7, gas inside was 431 a gallon. Outside, it was 579 or 34 percent higher. So Nicholas also asked the Federal Trade Commission to investigate why local gas stations all charge the same prices all at the same time. But the FTC told him they need a whistleblower to come forward to investigate collusion. Finally, so Nicholas suggests that Speaker Terlahi's recent legislation to lift the liquid fuel tax is not a lasting solution and will reduce much needed government revenue. His answer is to limit the profits of fuel companies to 30%. Anything more will be taxed and rebated back to consumers. Make a healthy industry standard profit, but you're not going to you're not going to harm the people of Guam and hold them hostage just because you can, and just because we cannot prove that you're colluding. For KOM News, I'm Nestor Lacanto.